Dumelang San Bonani Lochani R. Here's what happened on Mobango. 18 February 2022, James and Imani were preparing to take the baby to Mpo. Moibone also packed her stuff, but she really didn't want to go to Botswana and said she'll turn herself into the police. Then I received a call and took his car key and quickly left. Azuni told his mom that he can't believe his marriage of 20 years is over. Susan signed papers and left. Masini said she got what she deserved. She really disgusted him. She's a witch. Marang and Izen kissed and made up. Randy's reunion with her friends went off. She was busy flirting with her friend's husband. Mohau saw that and took a mic and Rendani's dirty laundry and said she's living a fake life online. They are not married and they don't have a child either. She married a low-life gambler and then moved on with a fraud who stole money in her company. Rendani was so embarrassed and her friend Dumi rejoiced. Randy said she mustn't. She's also living a fake life. Her husband is busy telling her that she's beautiful and flirting with her. She neglects her hubby and her child. Just when James and Imani were about to take Genosi Tumpo, Denda came in and said he knows everything. They stole their child. Itzeng also came in. Denda said he did a DNA test and he was helped by Itzeng. James was so angry and asked Itzeng if it's true. Itzeng said yes. James said she's a traitor. Itzeng said he mustn't pin it on her. He's the one who kidnapped the baby. Denda said all of them are going to jail. Moibone said she took the baby just to get back at him. He threatened to kill James. And he's going to turn herself to the police. Azwinini went to Johannesburg and proposed to Gugu. Gugu said yes, and he signed divorce papers in front of her. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get more episodes on this channel. One of our financial loves you. Bye, good people.